river in the region of Poltava and is the site of Ukraine's biggest oil refinery. There was no immediate comment from Russia, which denies deliberately targeting civilians. Eddie Aitken, NTD News. Wind. I want to talk like lovers do. I want to dive into your ocean. Over to you. 52 Americans held hostage for 444 days in Iran have been released and returned home. Now that the crisis is over, everyone expects the Middle East to quiet down and we'll all go back to living together in peace and harmony. Sure dodged a bullet on that one. Over to you. This week saw the CNN or the cable news network start broadcasting. And this reporter would like to let the fine people at CNN know that I, Bob Pugh, would like to throw his hat into the ring for the anchor job at what I'm sure will be a top tier and not at all salacious and fear-mongering news outlet whose design it is to divide an already scared and confused public. Over to you. Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer married this week. It was a huge occasion and a true fairy tale wedding. They're a couple who will stand the test of time. All the success to the two lovebirds. Over to you. The president has been shot. The space shuttle has exploded and the stock market has crashed. All that and more after the season premiere of That's Incredible, followed by an all new. Tesla plans to suspend most production at its Shanghai plant in the first two weeks of July. That's to work on an upgrade for the site to boost output. Chenny Wu, NTD News. In the vehicle to promote car ownership among Germans. With its recognizable design and inexpensive price, the car became a success story and was one of the top selling models of all time. According to auto publications, it was also the best selling import in the United States in the 1960s. Despite its place in popular culture, sales of the Beetle had been lackluster in recent years. The German automaker announced in 2018 that the Beetle would go extinct. A businessman attending the Beetle Parade says no car will ever take its place.